Hi, Rosie's rank today is about IQPs. Why does everyone give an IQP a hard time? To become an IQP, there are 15 different registers to knock on the door around in New Zealand to get across the line, so you can have a nationwide business. Really unlike a plumber or a sparky, you have individual registers around council, and the five biggies are collaborative, right? There's Northland, Auckland has its own, East Coast, Wellington, Waikato, and Bay of Plenty, and the South Island. And the rest are small councils in the Manawatu, Taranaki, and Horofenua areas that you need to knock on the door and ask permission. That's just the way it is. People want a national list, but be careful what you ask for. Now, they all have interestingly and sometimes different criteria for selection in IQP categories, which is frustrating as heck if you're an IQP. But while everyone's worrying about the IQP, their quals, their background, their experience, no one has actually asked in commercial construction, what does it take to be an installer of that same system? All the pressure that's gone on to be the IQP to maintain it. All you're doing is testing, maintaining, inspecting, recording all of that to make sure the jolly thing keeps working. But who's got the oversight of the person who's actually installing the equipment to start with? What are their quals? What are their experience? Where's the list that they register to? Apart from a plumber and an electrician, there is no legal impediment or requirement to be trained or qualified or even more so licensed or registered on any list. Think about that. The pressure that is put upon the maintenance person is not the same pressure put on the installer and yet it's the installer that really needs to get the thing right. Time after time IQPs come to me who are on the maintenance and servicing side and say blah 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 doesn't comply. I'm like dangerous word that but sometimes what they're actually saying is there's an installation error that really should have never occurred. So next time you give an IQP a hard time ask them are you an installer as well and ask more powerful questions about installation of specified systems and leave the maintenance to the IQPs.